Hi everyone, and welcome to our CQL Pro Advanced Labeling Software Tutorial Series. Today we're going to learn how to use CQL Pro to print from a database. CQL Pro supports all major types of databases, such as Microsoft Access, Excel, DBase, HTML Import, and others. For this tutorial, we'll use an Excel database. Let's start by building your database. Your database should look something like this. In the first column, we have the product name. In the second column, we have the lot number. And in the third column, we have the artwork that we want to print. Take a look at the artwork column. You need to have the entire path written out here. The artwork name and the extension, whether it's a PDF, TIFF, JPEG, or so on. Let's go back into CQL Pro labeling software. Our database has three entries, two text fields, and an artwork field. Therefore, we have to include placeholders for these entries in our label template. So we're going to add two texts and one artwork here. Click on T for text, and then click on the label. This is going to be the placeholder for our first text field, product name. Click on T again for text, and then click on the label. This is going to be the placeholder for the lot number. Now we'll insert an artwork image. Click on the artwork, and then click on the label. This is a placeholder for our artwork column. Now we're ready to link these fields to the database. We can close our Excel database for now. And we can focus on our label template. Select the first text field and go to Field Properties over here on the right. Scroll down to Data and then change the source from Fixed to Database. You'll see the Database Source Setup window, the Primary field will be used for product name. Change the database type to Excel. Click Connection Setup to Browse our database. Open your Excel file and then you'll see the fields that you can select from the database. Click on Product Name here and change the placeholder data to product name. Great job! We just matched this field to the product name column from your database. Now we'll do the same thing for the next text field. This time we'll connect the text field to lot number. Click on the text field and then go over to Field Properties. Scroll down to Data. Change the source from Fixed to Database. Now change this field to the secondary field. It will say Field 001. Click on Lot Number and type the lot number in the placeholder text area. You can also add a prefix or suffix here if you like. Hit OK. And that should link the proper column. Now we'll link the image field to your database. Click on the image and then go to Field Properties on the right. Now change the data source from Fixed to Database. And now we'll change the primary field to field 001 again. Select the artwork 
and click OK. Now that our fields are linked to the database, we're ready to print. There are a few things that we should do before we print our label, some fine tuning. Before you print your label, you're going to want to move the text fields and the artwork field to your ideal location. You might be asking, how do I resize the artwork so it fits exactly where I want to? I'll show you that right now. Go down to Artwork Size, unclick Maintain Aspect Ratio, and click Fit to Size. Then change the width and the height to your desired setting. We'll use 4 by 4 inches for our, our example artwork. Now, no matter how large your artwork is, it will fit in this 4x4 area here. Now you can ensure that your artwork isn't blocking your text fields. You can also change your text font and size before you print. Now we're ready to print. Click File, and then Print. You can select the records that you want to print from here. We also have a search option down below. If you have a really large database and you don't want to scroll through, you can type A for example, and that'll bring up all of the rows that have A in the title. You might want to do this if you have too many columns to work with and you don't want to scroll. For now, let's focus on printing the label that we already created. Now you should see the product name, lot number, and artwork here, referencing the three columns from your sheet. And you'll see one row for every row that you had in your Excel file. By clicking the checkbox uh, means that you're going to select that specific set of data to print. By clicking every box here and then clicking finish, all of the files will print their respective product name, lot numbers, and artworks. Click finish. Now make sure that you have the right printer selected from the drop down. We're using a quick label QL120. You want to make sure that you're using the correct printer profile. We're using a 4 by 6 inch profile that we already created. And you can see the preview of your label here on the right hand side. With all of the correct product name, lot number, and artwork. You can page through, make sure that everything lines up and everything looks proper before you print. Now click print to test it out in real life. There's actually another way to organize your data. Rather than tying lot number and artwork to your primary field of product name, you can actually have your lot number and your artwork set as independent fields. Let me show you. Remember how we selected the primary field as field 001 for lot number and for artwork? But you can also use lot number as a primary field. The same thing with the artwork over here. You can click the three dots next to database and it allows you to bring up use as primary for your artwork field as well. Now we click file and then print. I'll show you why you might want to do this. You'll see here only product name is available from this screen. 
So product A, for example, let's click on it. And then hit next. Now you'll see that it automatically brings up a different choice of lot numbers. So if you wanted to have the same lot number assigned to multiple products, you could do that easily from here. Or if you wanted to switch out artworks, you could do that fairly easily from here, making it a bit more custom. You see now product A is matching up with lot number 3 and image 4, Parmesan cheese. And you can hit print. By using these uh, primary fields on their own, it allows you to just get a little bit more custom. We hope you found this video tutorial helpful today. Please visit our YouTube channel for more tech support videos. Thank you very much.